A Sprite has a lot of features that are not obvious on first glance. So here are five features in A Sprite that you may not know about. The first feature is pretty useful. You can use the color picker tool outside of A Sprite. You just have to select the color picker tool and go to the bottom left, click and drag onto the other window where the color is that you want to select. I find this is useful when you're trying to make a color palette from a reference image. Instead of importing the image, you're just able to easily get the color from the window of the reference image. The next tool is useful if you like to make art with outlines. You can outline an entire layer by selecting the layer. You click edit, click FX, and then you can click outline. You can also use whatever color you want. If you're working with animation in your pixel art and you want to understand how other people make their animations, if you find a GIF file of an animation you like, you can import it into your project, then look at each frame of the GIF frame by frame. This can allow you to see how more experienced pixel artists animate their art. The next hidden tool is the shading tool. In order to use the shading tool, you just click the pencil, then you click the bottle in the top left, select shading. Now you're going to select your colors you are shading with. Make sure they go from left to right, from either lightest to darkest or darkest to lightest. Now, if you click left or right, you should either get a lighter or a darker value. This is useful when shading art. That way you don't have to constantly change your brush color, making shading take a lot less time. The last tool is just more for fun. It is the convolution matrix. You get to it by clicking edit, FX, then convolution matrix. You get an option of multiple filters. My personal favorite is probably the negative. It creates a negative of your pixel art, which can look interesting. There are also other filters like the blur filter, which obviously blur your pixel art. I recommend messing around with it a little bit and potentially to add a certain style to your art.